Hello, my name is Erin Williams, and I'm a Master of Science candidate in the Faculty of Science. The title of my talk is Syncope, with a grain of salt. Whether it was you or someone you know, many people have experienced fainting, or as the doctors call it, syncope. We tend to think of this as something that just happens, and it's kind of taken with a grain of salt. Believe it or not, fainting can actually be very serious. Of everyone that has fainted, about one third will experience recurrent and severe episodes, often getting injured as they fall to the ground. For some, this could mean fainting a couple of times a day. Imagine that. This would affect your ability to drive, work, go to school, exercise, and simply participate in daily life. Unfortunately, we don't know the best way to treat fainting. We faint when our blood pressure drops and there's not enough blood going to the brain. So a lot of the treatments try to stop that from happening. There are lots of strategies that doctors have tried. These help, but none stop episodes altogether. One core recommendation here is salt loading, which is exactly that, eat a ton of salt. And while this may sound strange, it does make some intuitive sense. We've all been warned that high salt diets put people at risk of high blood pressure. So for these patients with problems with low blood pressure, this trend can be harnessed for good instead of evil. But the details on how well it actually works, who it'll help the most, how safe it is, these are unclear. And if it does help with fainting, well then why? My research will look at exactly this. To start, we've done analysis of where the research is at to get a better idea of where it needs to go moving forward. And in our search, we ended up finding just 13 studies that had looked at using salt for fainting already. The good news is that salt overwhelmingly improved fainting susceptibility and symptoms. And it looks like it works best on patients with naturally pretty low salt diets and more salt isn't always better. For safety, salt was well tolerated and caused minimal side effects. And what was interesting is that we didn't really see an increase in resting blood pressure. It went up, but by an amount so small, it isn't meaningful. So patients weren't having problems like we see in the general public with salt making blood pressure too high. Instead, there's something going on that allows salt to only increase blood pressure when patients need it to. And it seems like this is one of the only treatments that works this way. Now, the longest study to date is six months. And next, we'd want to know that it's still safe over, say, years. So why does it work? We found that salt helped fainting by tuning your blood pressure control while increasing blood flow to the brain. And it also increased blood volume. So there's more blood around to get to the brain. Moving forward, we want to piece together how these findings tie in with our other findings on salt's ability to only raise blood pressure in certain situations. With better treatments, patients won't have their fainting controlling their lives day after day, and salt is a pretty useful addition to a doctor's syncope toolbox. With more research, we'll be able to once and for all stop taking syncope with a grain of salt and instead confidently recommend that our patients take a few grains of salt for their syncope. Thank you.